I actually like the fact that they got you in right away as soon as you were called up here to, to just kind of get right back out there. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's good to get back out there and feel the game, pace of play, um, be out there with the crowd, and um, obviously get out there for a few innings, extended amount of time. Was it felt good. Everything felt good, and uh, I was happy with how it turned out. What do you think contributed to your success this afternoon? Um... I mean, I had the, the two walks, but I felt like I was throwing a lot of strikes. But, I mean, I just two ABs that kind of got away from me. Um, the breaking ball was really good, the kind of the curveball slider mix. Um, and the two team, I felt like it was the best it's been in, in, as far as movement profile. Um, so I was really happy with the, with the shapes, and uh, I think that led to the success for sure. When you went down, you wanted to made sure to know to let us know that you're willing to do anything. I guess. Right. Is this what kind of the opportunity that you're waiting for, knowing that whether it be injuries or some other yeah. way you might get back here in some capacity? Yeah, for sure. I think um, obviously I feel so much for King. I mean, I think it's he's such a good person and a good player, and um, it's a big loss for us. Um, but I think um, so, so many people got to step up, you know, and, and kind of help carry the weight. So um, I feel like a little bit of that falls on my shoulders. And so to be able to go out there and put some outs up, and, um, you know, I feel like I can, I'll be in a, a lot of different roles. I think that's what's been kind of said. And so, um, you know, it's, I'm excited just to get out there and be able to put up zeros. And like, when you have an opportunity like this, you can't really let it slip away from your hands. And so um, I feel, I feel better than I've ever felt as far as like health and stuff. And so I think it's just continue to go out there and execute and, and get guys out and I'll make the most my opportunities. We just talked about how the key for you is throwing strikes, mm-hmm. blocking guys. There's an opportunity as a, as a high leverage guy, mm-hmm. possibly. Uh, do you have to pitch a little differently when you're uh, coming out of the pen, maybe the high leverage, mm-hmm. because you know, you, you, yeah, it's a close game and you don't have that same leeway as a starter? Yeah, yeah, for 100%. I think your um, your pitch selection changes a lot, and you don't want to lose the game on, on certain pitches and um, certain hitters. You don't want to lose the game, too, um, especially if somebody in the lineups say they're, they're better at slugging than others. Uh, I'm not going to let them let them beat the game or win the game. So for me, it's kind of just, you know, and you learn a lot being down there, being around those guys, um, and just kind of like talking through situations and watching the game. You, you really do learn a lot about how to attack guys. And, yeah, you, you definitely have to um, – you have to be like conservatively aggressive, I think, in, in certain situations when you're in a high leverage reliever. Um, but you know, I, f- I feel happy with where my stuff's at, and so it shouldn't be a problem for me. 